The current healthcare system isn't about health, wellness, and longevity. It's crisis intervention and revenue generation. I'm a general diagnostic radiologist. That's what I've done for the majority of my career. But I've also worked in tertiary care, neuroradiology, I've worked as a family doctor, and emergency room physician. I've worked at dozens of facilities, both in the United States and Canada, and I have privileges at a lot of facilities uh, because part of my job is uh, teleradiology. And I'll frequently go into patients' chart to get more information to interpret their scans. And I'm usually stunned by the number of medical problems that people have majority of them being lifestyle related. And then I'm also just stunned by the number of medications they take. I don't know how they keep them all straight. But the thing is with these lifestyle diseases, they all have one common cause, which is mostly nutrition and other lifestyle factors. Why is it that patients will see uh, physicians for diseases that are lifestyle related and not be told that the disease is rooted in their lifestyle and then simply be given medications? Well, I'm unfortunately it's the easiest path to follow for physicians and they have time constraints under the current system of billing. There's no financial incentive to really address causes and counsel people as they should be. Dr. Furman says the medical system enables people's bad behavior. The doctors function as enablers. They give people drugs so it looks like they're okay with their sugars being lower, with their cholesterol being lower, with their, with, even their weight may go a little lower, that they're um, whatever it is they're giving you a drug for you, but the, the drug makes it seem like, okay, I don't have to change my diet, I don't have to lose weight, I can just take the drug and continue the way I'm living, and inevitably that makes the disease continue to progress. Your, your otherwise chronic illness is worsening. And I think he's entirely right. Part of the problem in the United States is that bad diet is so baked into our culture. The other day I went out for lunch with some friends, and I looked at the menu, and it was all fat, processed flour, sugar, food that I didn't want to eat. I wanted to order something healthy. So I ordered off menu, and I think they were a little bit put out by that. But why should it be a weird thing to want to eat healthy? Unfortunately, in the US, only 11% of calories are actually healthy. And by healthy, I mean foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, spices, and that type of thing. From time to time, I'll talk to people about whole food plant-based nutrition. And uh, they may mention that they have diabetes. And I'll say, well, you know, Type 2 diabetes is usually curable with a proper diet and usually a high carbohydrate, whole food plant based diet. And they'll look at me sort of quizzically and they're kind of incredulous. And I'll explain a bit about it. And uh, unfortunately, usually they don't take action on it. I usually advise them in the case of diabetes to read the book Mastering Diabetes, which explains the whole thing, how it works, and how to treat diabetes successfully. Yes, there's skepticism, but I think there's some other obstacles as well. If you're going to really strive to be healthy, you have to radically change what you're eating. And most people may not be willing to do that. The other thing is you need to change the narrative about yourself, which is that you're a person that proactively takes responsibility for health rather than passively handing it over to the medical system. Another thing is that if you have an illness and, and people respond to the fact that you have an illness and you receive sympathy, and yet, if you became a robustly healthy person by taking responsibility for your health, that narrative would change and your place in the world would actually change. What do you think? Do you think a person's narrative has something to do with whether or not they embrace healthy living? Post a comment and like and subscribe.